How to use deductive reasoning to make sound decisions, decisions that could save your life. Translation, how I determined that I needed to prepare for the coronavirus panic weeks ahead of time. So for perspective, I'm completely prepared for a pretty bad scenario. I'm talking about stuff that goes beyond a basic quarantine, but stuff like power outages, food shortages, and municipal water shutdowns. And I prepared for this worst-case scenario weeks ago, way before the coronavirus panic hit the mainstream news. I have months of food. I've stockpiled ammo for my gun collection. God willing, I hope I never need to use it. I have a power generator in case electricity becomes an issue. I have a large water supply, and I even have gasoline stored. Panic? Maybe, but there's no downside to having these items, items which I'm going to use anyway. But more importantly, I avoided this. That was the line at my local Costco when the panic hit. Because I was prepared, I avoided that clusterfuck. Just to give you some perspective on how long that line is, here it is. I cannot tell you how overjoyed I am that I escaped that. So how did I know to prepare well in advance? It's called deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning told me I needed to prepare, and here's how it works. It's like a simple mathematical equation. A plus B equals C. You take the known facts, or what you can deduce from those facts, and then solve for the unknown. In the coronavirus case, our great unknown is how dangerous is this virus? Is it just like the flu? Should I be worried and prepare? In our A plus B equals C equation, this unknown would be the variable A. So in effect, we're looking to solve for A. Which brings us to C, the result or the known outcome that has been verified and confirmed. In a baseline analysis, we know thousands of people in China were infected and significant damage to the Chinese economy occurred. These are the known facts, and the truth is, the damage, or the outcome to China, could be much worse, as reported, since they are an authoritative country. So now we have C defined while we're trying to solve for A. Which brings us to the variable B. The variable B is the confirmed actions or policy implementations of the CPC, or Communist Party of China. What can we confirm there? What are the facts? Well, let's see. China locked down entire cities. China set up medical shanty towns, virtual medical cities to treat the infected. China had hospitals overrun. China had massive quarantine measures put in place. China locked up people in their apartments, and there was civil unrest. So knowing fact C, the outcome, and B, the implementations, what can we deduce about A? What would cause the CPC to instigate those policies, and policies which would be destructive to their society and their economy, policies that would cause them to lose trillions of dollars? Picture the head of China's health ministry reporting to Chinese leader Xi. When this virus first unfolded and it became known to the CPC, what would the Chinese health minister say? A. Dear leader, A flu-like virus is sweeping Wuhan. What should we do? B. Dear leader, a virulent virus has escaped a lab and threatens our country as we know it. Or C. Dear leader, a virulent virus has been discovered and threatens the world as we know it. Based on deductive reasoning and the known facts, the known outcomes and actions that occurred in China, we can deduce either B or C. We can also deduce that China knows exactly how dangerous this virus is, or can be. Considering Western civilizations are freer with less authoritarian controls, we can also deduce that this virus is bad. In other words, you need to be prepared. In order to start making better decisions in your life, start solving for the unknowns by using what is known. Trillion dollar industries have shut down. Pro sports, movies, gyms, trillions of dollars stand to be lost. For what? A flu? 
or something more serious. When you use deductive reasoning, you can only conclude that the coronavirus is serious business. And now we must hope that we've done enough to contain it. Stay safe, my friends. I wish you the best in the coming weeks and months. I know we can survive this.